Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm back with another reading which is going to be for whoever needs it. If you wonder what's going to come up for you in your love life in coming two weeks time, then this reading is something that you can watch and get the guidance around. We will uh, pull oracle cards and charms as well in this reading, so stay tuned. And before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it's a general reading, it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there, so always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. So let's find out what is coming up for you in your love life in coming two weeks time. This is a timeless reading, so whenever you are checking this read, I hope it will give you the answer according to that time frame. Uh, you know, so yeah, just be mindful of that and um, let's dive into the read. Let's find out what can you expect coming up for you in the coming two weeks time in your love life. Let's begin. Eight of Swords, uh, you're going to feel blocked in some ways. Uh, you're going to feel like um, you have no control. You are tied up to a situation and you don't know what to do next. Uh, maybe there are certain, uh, you know, uh, patterns that you need to leave behind. And you really have to understand that everything is under your control. You can change your thoughts around certain things and change the world around you. You can break free from a connection if that's bothering you. You can get into a positive um, and happy content relationship to feel better for yourself as well. So know that one thing. Like, you know, you are going to feel that way. But again, you have all the tools and techniques that you need to get through this time and be where you want to be in terms of your love life. So there is no point you feeling, in, you know, um, it's more like a self-imposed block. You are not blocked in any way. If your connection is not uh, healthy, positive, you always have the choice to leave that. Uh, if your person is taking you for granted, you always have a choice, choice to move on. If your love life is um, not moving ahead and you want something beautiful for your love life, uh, again, you always have a chance to you know, break free from that connection and find yourself a better person. So whatever it is that you are feeling, uh, maybe I, I have no control, I wish my love life was like this, like that, you can create that life for yourself and all you need to do is change your thoughts and change your world. That's how it works. So don't fool yourself thinking that you cannot do anything around the situation. Even if you want things to be working well for you and your specific someone, you can definitely manifest that using affirmation, scripting, visualization. There's a lot of techniques that you can use to get the results that you want. All you need to do that understand that there is a possibility of making things work for yourself and the connection as well so stop thinking negative let's see what else do we have you would feel like leaving away uh, walking away from a specific someone for some of you, you might have already done that because you were feeling that this was not going anywhere again you felt bad you felt you were being taken for granted you are going to leave that person i feel like you know maybe initially you're going to feel like you know i'm so fucked up i don't know what to do next but then you're going to feel like, you know, I, I, I deserve better than this. So you're going to choose to move on. Um, for some of you, you might be already contemplating on the idea of leaving this person and moving on to a better person, better future with another person. For some of you, you might choose to pull away yourself from a specific someone because uh, being with this person makes you feel nothing good but toxic. So in that situation too, you would be choosing to move away or move on uh, to a better future. You are going to feel like you know pulling yourself apart from this person you don't want to be in that situation any longer so i feel like you know for majority of you you would be choosing to walk away from a specific someone in your love life uh because uh, this person adds nothing but only toxicity in your life and you want your life to be stable you want to be happy content in your in yourself uh so you live a life that you desire because somehow your uh, you know your your negativity in your love life is affecting your work life as well so you don't want to deal with that. You want your love life to be an add-on, not something toxic. So if it doesn't add happiness to you, you don't want it. That's what you're going to be doing. I feel like you, know, you will be walking away from a person, relationship, situation, which is bringing you nothing but um, a lot of stress. So you would choose to walk away, which is a good thing, good decision for yourself. You will be choosing to do things for yourself, which is going to make you feel good, positive, confident as well. So you might be taking good time for yourself and focus on yourself right now so let's take one more card ten of pentacles wow as you do that trust me the person situation relationship that was bothering you will no, uh, will no longer bother you there could be two options or two choices that you will be having as you move on um one your person will start messing you and come back to you with a stable offer 
maybe by that time you would feel like you know i don't need it maybe you know for some of you i'm, I'm picking up that energy for others of you you're gonna feel like you know um i will see if it goes where i want it to go you got to earn it basically so i feel like you know you will have an upper hand you will be doing good for yourself you would choose i do see you walking away from a connection and then i do see you getting an offer from the same person or it can be a new person as well but you're not going to take that offer there and, and there and then i feel like you know you are going to take your time to decide about it because i feel like you know somehow um you you uh, don't want to go back to the old days old past uh, patterns to to deal with that shit again you want something stable or you don't want it at all so that's what is coming up for you in your love life um two of pentacles i feel like you know you do love this person whoever it is uh you you will have your your um indecisiveness around this person around this connection you would feel like maybe i need to take this offer maybe i need to uh you know stay away from this person so there will be like you know that situation coming up as well but the tower the lovers wow but then you will have to make a choice about your love life it's now or never kind of a situation in your love life you where you have to choose uh to make a decision in your love life whether you accept this person's proposal uh whoever it is a new person or a past person uh but yes you will have to make a decision underneath the deck we do have the five of wands underneath that we do have the five of pentacles I need that ten of swords. I need that the king of cups. Let's take one more card. <clears throat> I I do see you know somebody has to make a choice in love. If you were so sure about a specific someone, but that person wasn't sure, and you chose to walk away from that person, they are going to be the one who is going to be like you know making a decision about you, and they have to do it now, uh, because they don't either now or never. So it's more like a now or never situation, be that for you or for the person that you are dealing with. So eventually, they will be making that decision and committing to you. Now it can be your energy towards love and uh, relationships, so or it can be their energy. But something beautiful is definitely going to come through for you in your love life. That's for sure. Let's take uh, some um, more cards around it. Let's see what else do we have coming up for you in your love life and coming two weeks time. Wow. For some of you, like maybe you have walked away from this person or you are going to walk away from this person and that's going to make your person fear losing you and that's how they will make a quick decision in love life that was kind of uh, being delayed on their part. Uh, they 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 are indecisive. Maybe you yourself don't know if you should accept somebody else offer or you should wait on for this person. But yes, the clarity would be coming in in this uh, uh, time frame. Let me take one card from the middle of the deck. Will will you guys be able to make a decision around it? Because I do see this person coming towards you, whoever it is, new person or a past person. But yes, let's see. Will will this past person uh, will be able to decide and come back to you with an offer? Yes or no? The high priestess listen to your intuition around it for some of you maybe you can manifest them coming back to you if you are a manifester as well so yeah let's see more cards let's see what else do we have you are going to stay very optimistic about your love life you're going to create something beautiful for yourself so i feel like you know it's uh you are definitely going to add some uh, stability in your love life by becoming stable enough for yourself first and you are going to manifest something beautiful for yourself as well be that with the same person that you left behind or be that with somebody new let's take more cards wow you guys are soulmate your person is somebody who's very much um uh, I feel like you know for majority of you this is a past person who's coming back with an offer um they are somebody who's um This person is somebody who's very rich and famous as well. I feel like you know, this person is somebody who's um who's very much focused on their work and career. Um, this person um coming back to you, offering you love, would raise your financial standards. Uh, it seems like you know I, I'm not saying that you are financially struggling. It's just that you uh, and them will be a power pack kind of a connection, rich, famous kind of people. You both are going to be like of that level, basically, as as you get together. I do see you. Go, you are dealing with a soulmate here. You are dealing with the twin flame, you know, person here. It's it's ultimately it's going to end up 
getting you two together so there's no question that uh, you know maybe maybe uh, this is how it was planned to happen by the heavens uh, that you had to pull away so this person could come in but yes I feel like you know you guys are bound to be together forever so whoever it is that you are dealing with I feel like you know that same person is gonna come back to you with an offer to make um, Mm -mm -mm -mm. let's take one card from this deck let's see what it has to add to the lead wow this wants to come transformation your relationship with one another is about to deepen love conquers and transforms all the things now if your person has been like you know not giving into the connection the connection is now getting gonna get deepened and maybe that's coming because your person feared losing you love will conquer everything and transform the things that they were not ready to transform earlier um let's take some cards for the current energies of your person towards you let's see I, I will use the same uh deck here so let's see what is the current energy of your person towards you or what do they actually feel for you wow the, the coming two weeks time is definitely going to be very uh much significant for you the sun you are their sunshine and they know they have to do justice to you and the situation. So the sun and the justice, they know that they were they failed to give you what you deserve. Let's see what do they want you to know. They want you to know that they are trying to win over uh, the obstacles right now in their life which leads them towards you um, and they soon will get done with that so just be patient with them and they will be coming forward uh, with something beautiful something positive to offer so that person needs to change here I feel like you know and they will be you know having a major shift within them around you around the connection it's it's high you know the connection that you have with this person is very strong is very uh deep it's it's your soul it's like you know your souls are already tired kind of a connection uh where you are so deeply connected to each other uh whether you talk whether you don't whether you move away whether you don't uh stick together it's it's more like um the connection has a deeper bond um than you you ever feel so i don't see that uh you know um you walking away is gonna affect or impact the connection the wrong way it's just gonna be uh, getting you the results that you want in this connection with your specific someone so let's take the charms now let's see what the charms has to add to the read hold on where is the deck of this car okay so there you go so let's see the charms now let's see what the charms has to add to the read so we do have three alphabets T M and C. It can be your name initial, name initial of the person that you are dealing with. Uh, somebody's be gonna feel left alone and they have to listen to their inner calling. They have to see through or steer clear from the clouds of uh, fear, doubt that they uh, got themselves into. They're gonna feel like you know they might lose you even though they feel hooked to you uh, already but they have to take some action. I feel like you know this person could be very well busy with their work scenarios right now they believe you are their sunshine again the sun, uh, sun card um, we had the sun card earlier now it's the charm which says you are my sunshine this person believes that you are their one they're the one who adds a lot of happiness to their life but somehow your person has no time for themselves as well right now why they could be busy with making money or dealing with financial situations you might see them online all the time you might not see them talking to you again that's because they are dealing with some um, heavy work stuff now uh, that shouldn't be the you know excuse there they you know everybody can always make some time room for for you know for the one that you love when you can do so they can also do so so just just keep yourself open to that idea plus I do see that this person will realize their mistakes as they believe they are not doing justice to you in this situation they will be coming forward with an apology with the with the with the reconciliation to offer with the stability to offer as well so stay positive and keep yourself excited to have them back so yeah that's pretty much it coming up for you for this read if the reading resonates with you do like subscribe and share if you're willing to get a personal read you can always reach out to me for that on my email id in the description box till i do the next reading for you guys take care bye